All right, people, now for the brown mud. Now, this is the building complex number two that you that you get access to once you save the Russian pilot after the, you know, the hawk down mission. Anyway, so it's pretty close to the lighthouse. It's just past these mountains right around here. This is pretty much where the brown skull is located. All right. Not sure if I picked it up already or not. Might have by accident. Who knows? It doesn't show up in inventory, so you just don't ever really know if you have it or not. If you forgot if you picked it up. Anyway, so coming down through here. There should be one ugly motherfucker right about there. Yeah, and so I'm not going to let it go. All right. Hopefully, the zombie body parts are completely destroyed. The skull, honestly, is usually around those parts. Now, I probably already collected it, so let's go check and see if I have it. If not, it is in this area. Anyway, so back where we left off, you should um, basically fast travel from that area right here that we were just at where we got the skull you should fast travel from there to the lifeguard station and then just run around this green and blue mark you'll see these platforms right here off to the side underneath this tunnel oh and the lifeguard station is that way so you'll be running over here anyway so I'm gonna continue this video after I finish climbing all these rocks Basically, it's fast that way. I'm sure you can figure it out for yourself. It's not that hard. I'll even look back when I get to the object. All right, so I checked to the top here, and this is where the skull is. On, on the rocks and such, you'll see markers like on uh, the other skulls later you'll see in the video. Basically, down there is where we started. Just go up to the top of this hill, and you'll find what we're looking for. Just keep going up, up, all across here, around, and then right here. What you'll see happen is, is when we activate this, you're going to see a really bright flash. And the developer 666 craft. If you go to your inventory after collecting all of these, you should find... quite a few good amount of them. Developer number one, three, four, and six, six, six. Now, I've heard there's a green skull, so I'm gonna go and find that green skull real quick. I'm gonna add it to this video after I collect the rest of these skulls. All right. The location of the green skull. Now, on our mini map here, we are pretty close to the gas station on the very southern end, near the tunnel area, leading to the city. Now. All you have to do is go over to the right, place a mark on top of this mountain, and start climbing. On your way up, you should see a little box with a green skull. I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a second. Now, all I really had to do was climb that initial part of rock right in front of me in the past three seconds. There's a skull, and there's a box. Anything good? Nope, box is empty. Anyways, here's the green skull. Now, I'm going to go off to the delivery point and show you exactly where it is on this part. But, since I want to show you how easy it was, all you have to do is literally climb right there. No big deal. Easy up, easy down. Alright, here we are in the warehouse. We're getting the orange skull right now. Now, the orange skull is in the warehouse here, located right underneath these stairs in that shopping cart that was probably the easiest one to get out of all of them I'm just saying anyways so we're gonna go drop it off now alright so here we are we just entered the marketplace we're gonna go drop off the green skull now as you can see, I did this well after I killed the bandits, but it's a good idea to collect the green skull instead of, you know, having to deal with, you know, 
coming back and going forth like I am right now. Anyway, so, as you can see, we're going down to the toy aisle. There's a teddy bear right here. He's so cute, it's a really teddy bear. Anyway, so, go ahead and give him this. And, flash. Poof. It's like a little possessed bear. In the next bear over, we'll have the developer's two craft. And, I got this early. Achievement unlocked. Alright, so next is you go back here to the sewers. Basically, all you do is you go up this ladder. You probably went up it once, right? You probably went up here and saw a zombie and stomped his ass up, right? Anyway, so as you're coming through here, you'll see a bunch of skulls to the left. You're like, what, what the hell? There's an arrow. So I'm probably going to look this up online, right? That's where this video takes off. Anyways, once you get that orange... Alright, anyways, what will happen is once you place the skull down... Sorry about that, my camera apparently died and I can't do it again because I clicked on it. Alright, so basically you'll see the screen flash a couple times and now it says developer's number one craft. When you grab that, it gives you that thing, right? So it's a collectible item found. Alright, the location of the purple skull. Now, the purple skull is located in the sewer area. You'll honestly pretty much never forget this because... Well, all these zombies start puking on the ground because of whatever the hell this crap is. So, we're gonna go up this ladder. Ah! Oop, fail. My bad. Anyways. Back to what I was saying. We're gonna go up this ladder. To the side, and we're gonna go right over there. You'll see like a little shrine dealio. Basically, there's a, there's a third skull right there. I got a little ahead of myself, and I already grabbed it. My bad. Anyway, so the purple skull right be right here, and we'll show you the next drop off point. Ooh, look a chest. Anything useful? Ah, it's crap. I'm gonna show you the mini map when I exit out of here, but. See that giant purple arrow? That's kind of indicative that this is where the purple skull belongs. Anyways, it's in an oven in an abandoned house. After you kill a bunch of zombies inside, you'll meet a woman. Skip that. Keep going to the left. You'll find a you'll find a room. I'll track back so you can see it. Anyways, so I'm gonna place the skull here. All right, purple skull there. Blows up just like the other one that I wasn't able to show you, and I just got a mod. These are mods, they're not collectible items exactly, they're actually mods and they're like maxed out rarity. Anyway, so in this room, you're gonna find that one woman I told you about. Now here's the tricky part, it's kinda hard to hold this with just one hand. Flashlight's going out. Anyways, there should be a glass cabinet around here somewhere, I mean I did it on another one. And basically all you do... Well, hold on. I'm gonna get to the glass cabinet. Alright, so all you do is exit out the room, right? But, instead of going to the left where you dropped off the purple skull, you're gonna go to the right. Alright? If you go to the right here, get my flashlight on there, you'll see a glass cabinet, alright? And you'll find the blue skull. Kick that bitch out, grab the skull. You notice a save, just like last time. Alright, now I'm going to get us out of this house, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, basically, if you're starting from her room, you can backtrack your progress. Basically, there were a bunch of zombies, there was a, you know, a thug here, killed him, keep going down, turn, go down these stairs. Um, by the way, if you hadn't noticed, on my pistol there is a blue tip, that means I have an electric mod on it. Basically, you know how when you have a lightning weapon and you hit them and they like electrocute and shit like they're getting stunned That's basically the same concept except with bullets. So if you're looking for that, I'll post a video on that if you want it Anyway, so coming back out Should be our exit Traveling to the city now
I'm just gonna skip this loading screen for you. Alright, so here we are, back outside. Pulling up this mini map. I'm gonna zoom in real quick. Basically, here's the key points, alright? You can play and pause this. So there's the church, right? So basically what you wanna do is you wanna go down and search for this weird D looking loop, like a reverse D. Then just kinda aim up and over. Kinda see how the road bends over there, over the D? Anyway, so come over here and then just plant a marker right about here. Sprint there and you'll find this abandoned house in this little area near the trees. Anyways, well, um, we're going to get to the next video of the, I believe it's going to be the delivery of the blue skull and whatever else skulls we can find. Alright. Alright, now for the placement of the blue skull. This is the last skull out of all of them. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm doing in the shack. Well, here's the really funny part. If I just step outside, I gotta ask you, does this look familiar at all? Let's just check. Oh no, it's where you killed pretty much everybody at the start. Well, good times, right? Anyway, so we're basically on Act 3 right now, right? So you can only get this skull delivered if you do Act 3. If you don't do Act 3, you're not gonna be able to deliver the skull. Well, actually, I lied, you can. Anyways, it's just best to do it after you complete the act. That way everything's gone there. You don't have to worry about it. Come back and all that crap. Anyways, so if you go just right of this. Yes, that's the armor truck from Act 1 and 2 and now I'm in 3. But anyways, if you go through, you'll see a red truck. You should see two thugs right around here. And you'll see a bunch of zombies banging on this gate. Well, the truth is, I'm an overachiever, and when I was in, like, the first 5% of the game, I wanted to kill everything. So, I killed all the zombies and got access. So, here's the plan. We're gonna go inside, and we're gonna go down this manhole to the right. Right? Alright, here we are in this manhole. We just came out. Now, from what I've heard... I'm just kidding. Well, I'm going to re-record this anyways. Basically, all you have to worry about is see this door? This door is unopenable. So here's the plan. We are going to go in here, climb this ladder. Alright, we're at the top, right? Cool box. Now, this is what we're really after. We're after these explosive canisters. Nice and shiny and red, right? The opposite of a blue skull. Not like that has any significant importance. Was it a bad idea to throw that? Probably. Alright, so. Here's what we're gonna do. I am gonna throw this right there. I am gonna get in the back, tuck my head between my knees, and pretty much kiss my ass goodbye. I missed. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Ah. Oh no, the door's gone. Holy crap. Anyway, so. We're in this room, right? Dead corpse. Well, that's actually kind of ironic saying dead corpse. Anyway, see how there's a skull there? Well, clearly, there needs to be a blue skull there. So, I'm just going to plant this sucker right here. And boom! Box goes open. There's a fucking teddy bear with the goddamn plans. He was the plans. Anyways, it says developers number three craft. So basically, like I was trying to frantically find earlier, hopefully I cut it out. Okay, so here's your inventory, right? Well, anyways, we'll get back to this video later.